And what I have today is a stack. I mean like a stack. Make sure you guys have some good light there. But in this stack of things, it is all different kinds of boxes there. That's better lighting. All different kinds of boxes. And I'm going to start off with one. And we're going to be here a while. Like, I'm not kidding. We're going to be here a while. And one of the things I'm going to start off with is what one of the hardest scents. And look at her packaging. Isn't that fabulous? Look at this. That is so cool looking. You know you want to see this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And it's an upcycled business envelope. That's just so freaking cool. Okay, so I'm going to open this really quick off screen. But that's what we're going to start with. Go to my thing because it's not showing up. I hope I listed this as public. Yeah, that would be my typical day. I just want to do a live and not be able to go to chat. Now that's just no fun. Oh, here we go. Yeah. And when I say a marathon of thank yous, I'm not flipping kidding. It is a marathon of thank you. So hold your britches on. I'm going to open this on the side. We are going to stop with, ooh, I'm shaking your old belt. With the ATCs. Oh, every time I touch the table, it wiggles. And you guys are going to be seasick by the end of this law, this haul. Look. The hardests are sending ATCs to share with the angels. And I am so impressed with their work. Unbelievable. And look at the, so many layers in these. They're just absolutely gorgeous. This one's my favorite. And yes, I peaked already. So, but this one's my favorite. Holy smacks. Isn't that awesome? Just absolutely beautiful. I like the balance. Okay, no, no, no. I think this one's my favorite. I think that one's my favorite because it says rivers and lakes and then she's got the paint going down the drain into this. How cool is that? That is just so cool. And then this one. All too cool. Where's my chat? There we go. Oh man, how am I going to read that? I need some better eyes. There we go. Now I got it all zoomed in so I can't tell if I'm all on screen. So if I'm not on screen, then what I need from you is to say, hey, wait. Check, check to make sure that you're in screen. But yeah, aren't these amazing? Very, very cool. So these are going over. I have a beautiful stack now of the ATCs coming from the hardest that we're going to be sharing. Just too cool. All right. Also, before I um, get going, I bought these things. You guys remember when I was whining about um, I wanted to have something to be able to wrap thread and lace and yarn around? Well, this was what I purchased, and that was on AliExpress. Um, a fabulous angel sent me a li link to that, and it was very reasonable, and it's already here. How cool is that? But then, of course, I couldn't buy just one thing. Look at this. This is like a tag topper for little bags, right? Because it folds in half and it has like that little handle. Isn't that cute? I'm thinking about making cute little paper baggies with it. So that be the top and then paper at the bottom. I think that'll be fun. You know, when I get another 6,000 years. Because I can't get everything I want to get done in these days. And then I keep adding more to my fun stuff. But those are off to the side. Another thing, what else did I buy before I get to the what did people give? Let me show you this. This, actually, I go on eBay. Let me tell you the story of what happened here. So I go on eBay, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. This guy had this mixture of a couple hundred glassine bags. And um, I bid on it, um, but I didn't hit send. My heart was broken um, because I thought I did before, you know, I went away. And, you know, I bid enough that I thought I was going to win it and I went back and checked it later and I'm like oh my gosh I didn't even hit send you know open up the laptop and um then so I send him a note and I said would you happen to have any more of these and this is what my intent is to do and so hardests he said yes and this is what I bet on is used and old glassine bags 
right? I know that's a weird thing, but look at the colors of these. Now here's what happened. When I told him what we do, he gave them to me for free. I asked him what shipping was. Maybe I paid shipping. I don't remember, but I don't think so. And so they have writing on them. Some of them have old writing on them. And there's a lot. You see this like United States Air Mail? They couldn't be more perfect. They couldn't be more amazing. They're all different sizes. And they used to be um, the glassine bags for stamps. And so, I mean, look how tiny and cute this is. You know you love it as much as I do. I know you do. Because, yeah, what a stellar guy. Totally agree with you. So, two thumbs up for that guy. That's for sure. And then, to make it even better, because he's a stamps guy, right? To make it even better, look at the envelope. Tell me that's not cool. So, I'm going to send him a link to this video and give him the minute that I'm talking about how awesome he is. And, um... Once this video is all uploaded and the auction's over and I have a minute to breathe again, um, I'll put a link in the comments somewhere in one of my future videos of um, the stamps and the glassine bags that he sells because um, these are just way better than expected. Um, he asked me how many, so I thought I was being bold when I said 120. He said, okay. So that's what's in here. So the hardest... Um, you divide the number of hardest by 100, and, I mean 120 divided by the number of hardest, and then some stamps to go with it. Um, how cool is that? Look, this one's Abbott and Costello. Who doesn't love Abbott and Costello? Yeah, we're going to be here for hours and hours and hours, guys. So um, I'm feeling really guilty because one of my favorite people is on today, but I can't not do this video. My husband went to the post office today, hasn't been there since Saturday. Yep, not kidding. Week of the auction and hasn't been to the post office, the two of us, since Saturday. And lo and behold, what do we have? All right, so we're now we're getting to two questions that I have. Two questions. One is, I think this is from Lizzie. Um, because I remember Lizzie saying she was going to send an Amazon order of these when we were on Elizabeth Brewer. Um, an Amazon order of these when we were talking and she said she ordered these, which is <laughs> absolutely love, excited, super excited. So yes, thank you, Lizzie, if you guys could join me in saying thank you to Lizzie. In fact, I need to make a list of all the people to say thank you to, because um, I don't even have that down. I'm not kidding, it's a lot of people. So I'm gonna say eBay guy, because I'm gonna have to update the title. Lizzie, I'll know is Lizzie Brewer. And then if it was more than Lizzie who bought on Amazon, make sure if you guys could do me a favor. Um, and if you do buy something on Amazon, put that gift receipt in there so I can know who it was to say thank you to. Otherwise, it's totally anonymous. Or I think to myself, did I buy that? I might have bought that. That's usually what goes on in my head because really, I might have bought that. And I'm sitting there looking to see who to say thank you to. Um, but I know that Lizzie said that. Oh, and I'm sorry, I'm going to try not to make the crunchy sound next to the microphone. I don't have a better place to put the microphone right now. But I'll try to make it not crunchy. I can't put it by the laptop, or it'll, else it'll sound like you're next to a jet engine. But isn't that cool? That's just super cool. Um, so I was doodling on my uh, computer, and the auction is tomorrow at noon instead of 2 p.m., so... Uh, yeah, I love the crunchy sound too. <laughs> I haven't even said hi to everybody. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Oh, what am I doing? Here we go. Wait, where are we at? So the fabulous Laura and Lazama and Darla and Susan. Oh, Susan, I got your box too. Did I say Darla? That's how bad my memory is. I think I said Darla. I think so. And Lucy. And if, oh, and Debbie. Debbie, I have your box here too. Um, and like I said, it's a marathon. And if Shelly is on tonight, Shelly, I love you, love you, love you, but I don't even have time to watch your show because I've got to do a show. And I feel bad if we're overdoing Shelly because, gosh, I love Shelly. Um, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Um, and isn't that cute? Christmas in July 13th. <laughs> Christmas in July. And then I was like, but I want to put the date. So I put 13th. 
And I have this, um, so this image itself, it's so cute. Um, it was of a stocking hung on a palm tree. And the image is in open source. And so uh, I went to uh, an app I have where I can grunge things and ignore my curious George there. But I have an app where I can grunge things. And so I squared up the shape of the what I wanted. Um, but I love the way the sky came out um, when I grunged out the image. Like, you guys don't know what the original image looked like. I probably should have shown you that. But, um, yeah, I, I just love that grunge look. I've done that some, to some photos in the past um, using the graphics of doing that. But oh, the corners are fun. The edges are fun. And then I doodled on it with a Sharpie. I don't know if you can tell that or not, but I did. So, yeah, that's the, the whole fun elements. But anyway, off to that stuff. Oh, and by the way, um, if I forget to say, hey there, Elizabeth. Oh, now I forgot what I was going to say if I forget to say. You know what? Forget it, because obviously I forgot it. Okay, we're going to start with this one. I do have... A fun little giveaway thing um, and in my fun little giveaway thing it's when I remember to look for my dice because I'm gonna need the dice for tomorrow's auction and so that's when I'll when I'll do the giveaway oh oh no 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 I know what I was gonna say if everybody could do me a favor and if you have something specifically for me to see make sure you put it in all capitals it's not yelling it's just easier for me to read it and number two, I'm zoomed in on the font so I can read it from a distance because uh, I can't open these and wear my glasses at the same time. So because of that, um, I have it all zoomed in and I can't see if I'm in screen or off screen. So go ahead and go in all caps saying off screen and I'll, take, I'll stand on my tippy toes again and take a peek to make sure I'm on screen again. Oh, goodness. I don't want to cut something. Oh my gosh, I felt like I was about to cut something. Don't do that, woman. Oh, she's got some books. Do you guys want to know who it is? This is Susan. Susan Quartz. Oh, I feel like I'm like five today. I do. Today is finally a slight head relief day. And I don't go, know if you guys know this, but um, all those videos I shot that you guys watched throughout the week... I shot all of those on Saturday. So you may have noticed I was wearing the same sleeves. I actually considered changing shirts just because um, I was like, oh my gosh, what if they think I wear the same thing every day? But no, no, you guys know I don't wear the same thing every day. Make sure. All right, here we go. We're all nice and open here and we're gonna be safe. I don't wanna rip anything or cut anything. <laughs> well, that's why I'm so behind and why I feel like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. I want to open all these today before the auction tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm going to love this already. I can already tell. So if I haven't said this already, one, join me in thanking Lizzie. Two, join me in thanking eBay guy. Three, there's five more boxes after the fabulous... Susan Cords, so join me in thanking Susan, which I know I just saw you in here a second ago. I know I did. But a uh, Latin and English dictionary. I bet this is fabulous. Let's pick a word. Are we ready for this? Let's do this. Oh, I need my glasses for this. Dag nip it. There we go. We're going to pick a word. I'm going to put it under the light so I can pick a word. Parto. Parasitis. A son of Prian and Hercula. I think that's what it says. Too tiny. But good words. Simber, Sendry, Ciro. Oh yeah, Circa. Well, we all know Circa. That would be good for doing die cuts or other things. But I know you guys know this. In the month of August, and maybe you don't know this, but in the month of August, all of the hardest are going to get books. And they're going to get a variety of books. And some of them are going to be, I, you know, look at this journal. I think it's a journal. Let me see. Let me see. 
Oh, it's a journal. Some of them are going to be empty and blank in journals like this. Some of them are going to be reference books that they can use for other purposes. Some of them are going to be... Oh, well, some of them are going to be saved for future auctions. So, a field guide to the birds. How cool is this? Did I say guy or guide? I think I did. Some of them are going to be saved for future auctions because... Oh, my gosh. Do you guys see this? Look at the way it's stitched. I know you can see this. If you can't, I wish you could. You can see that it's stitched really, really cool right there. Um, and it, the paper feels cool, too. All right, which bird are we going to go look at? Red Whiskered Bulbul. Red Whiskered Bulbul. Yeah, that's what we wanted to talk about. Oh, they're so cute. Like, I would ever know the war the warbles, warblers, which was which. I don't know. Oh, there's some cool birds, too. But anyway, um, east of the Rockies. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, I do have a hardest who um, I may send this to, so it may not end up in a um, in an auction. I'm going to send her an email after after this. She asked to be put on hold for a couple of months, and um, I'm going to send her a note to see if this is of interest to her. If it's not, then I'm going to be putting this into the auction in, I think it was December, for the birds and planners, I think is what I'm doing for December. I like doing the theme thing, but I think I'm sticking to the theme thing a little bit too much. That key thing is cool, though. Look at the cover, and it's hard. It's a hard cover. Let's see how you open like that. Oh, for the love of lines. I just want to doodle right now. Should we write a little note in this book on how much we love them? I got to know who it is, and I can write it more personal. So I can't do that online. I'm probably not going to remember either. I'm making a list of who to put in there. Oh, you couldn't even see that. I'm writing off screen. I'm going to mean not being on screen. i got to get on my table. Oh, this feels fabulous. Oh, look at this. Handmade paper. Oh, you know you love it. You know. Oh, look, this is snipped. This is snipped. You know what happens when you snip it. You just pull it right out. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? You know, I have to tell you, um, I do kind of want to divvy this book out now because I want to share how good it feels to have this handmade paper. I don't know if they have enough pages for me to send everyone one, but it's pretty cool. That is cool. So we will set these aside and they will go into my Super August stack. That'll actually make shipping to the hardest super easy for me in, in August as well. Because I'll be like, one of these, 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 one of these. So I'm not going to be doing any special wish list for August. So all the hardest who have your wish lists out there, um, unless you have a specific book on your wish list or um, tutorial type book, like I'd really love to learn how to crochet or I'd really love to learn how to um, use watercolor kind of training book, those kinds of things. If you have those in your wish list, then those would be in there. Look at the size of this. I so want to turn this into a journal, but um, oh, the images in here are beautiful. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. And it has all the months in there too. September. Plums have been grown and gathered for centuries. That's my birth month. When is your birth month, everyone? Tell me what month, you guys. It's so pretty. I totally agree with you. Wait, wait, wait. This one feels yummy, too. Look, this is actually texture. Can you, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that or not. But this white paper is heavily layered over the darker paper. And that is not drawing. That's the actual shadow of the thick paper on top of another. Ooh, it's poo-poo paper. <laughs> oh, that's precious and priceless. It says poo-poo paper. Guys, I'm not kidding. Look at that. You know you want you some poo-poo paper. That is so awesome, Susan. Oh my gosh, that is fabulous. Oh my gosh. I gotta go read up on this now. Oh. We are number one at number two. That's their tagline. <laughs> oh, 
I'm gonna go look that up later tonight. Poo poo paper, that is just too funny. Ooh, this feels wooden. Check this book out. <gasps> that is the coolest thing since sliced bread. Oh my gosh. Hey, Rain Girl. Oh my gosh, I know your name too. And I wrote it down earlier today. And I know it's not Emily. I know it's not. What is my brain saying the wrong name for? Oh my gosh. Hey, everyone, just so you know. Um, and then this makes it even easier because the auction's tomorrow and everything's set up in the other room. Um, Cindy. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rain Girl. Or thank you so much, Cindy. Um, and I'm going to do that to everyone. I am so slow at remembering people's names. It's embarrassing. Um, but if you see something when I'm going through these and you really, really, really want to see it in the auction, let me know. Um, because then I just go put it in the auction. And either way, it's helping the hardests. Because it raises the funds to help send this stuff over to the hardest. Oh, that's a good point. No, I don't have anyone who does woodworking. So if you're a hardest and you do woodworking, um, let me know uh, as this is a really cool template to mess around with um, on how to make this shenanigan of cuteness. And this itty bitty pencil, I don't know where they bought it at, but I don't think it's ever been moved and I'm afraid of breaking it. So yeah, that is just way too cool. So all of that goes off to the side and unless somebody yaps at me, hey, pull that aside. And if we're two boxes later, me pulling it aside, a lot less likely. But if you're a hardest and you see something and you want it on your wish list, have no problem with that. Just don't send it in the chat here. Send it to me in either my email of help at disabledartist.org, which you all know by now, um, or private message me on Facebook. And we are going to a big old box from Debbie Brigham. Are we ready for this? Let me write her name down first. And everyone, everyone say um, thank you to the fabulous Susan. And now thank you to the fabulous Debbie. And yes, I have to write this down. I, I do because um, I'll come back and I'll miss something or I'll mess something up. Hold your britches because... It's all coming out. Ooh, ooh, hold your britches. It's coming out in sections now. Oh, do I want to be silly and say I love that? Oh, and even more. You know what's great about those is they're really, really good for the artists that have visual challenges. I was just thinking about origami earlier today, too. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I am not done. I'm going to get to the rest in a minute. Hold your britches on for one second. Grab a sip of water. I'll be right back. I have to stay somewhat organized, and I had to grab the thing that I put my canvases in because I want to keep those separate um, for when I send the canvases out to the, um, the, the hardests who do painting, uh, mixed media, that kind of stuff. Mm. So she has, in this canvas pack, doesn't give me sizing, but I can tell you, it is... 14 by 11. It's an 11 by 14. Ooh, and this paper, do you guys see that? It has a shimmer and it's like vintage grunge. And I love the grunge stuff with books. Oh, look at the backside. They can carve out and fussy cut those, those things. The words like great grandmother and grandfather and this would be the coolest one for if you are making a family tree. Wouldn't that be cool? Set that one aside, and I bet you these other ones are similar. Oh, they're different. I was guessing, and I was guessing wrong. Here we go. So we've got some heart stars and horseshoes. No, no, that's Lucky Charms. <laughs> 
I'm said, how do you guys put up with me and my dorkiness? I mean, really, I tell the worst jokes. I'm like that 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 guy on the cruise ship where everybody just sits there and, and doesn't laugh, except for the guy telling the horrible jokes. But anyway, she's got um, it's foiled hearts with a soft heart behind it, and then this one has dots and fun stuff on one side. Don't you love Bow Bunny? And the flowers on the other. And again, the... Oh, this is cool. I like that one. Look at that. It has like a, a watch face there and some metal piece, some rough green, and the softer flowers on the right. And this is reusable for sure because uh, I would use... Personally, I would cut this down to size to be um, ATC cards because one side is blank. And then the other side, it's it's nice and firm to be an ATC. And I'd cut them down. Um, again, if you're a hardest and you don't have a paper trimmer yet, let me know. Um, I still have a couple. And these fabulous clocks. Oh, wait, it's, fab it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? For real, I'm in Florida. It's time. It's fine. There's another one of these fabulous ones. Isn't that cool? I like that they have them with time. Definitely super cool. Wouldn't it be fun to put that on something like this? Could you imagine layering um, and doing a collage on love where you had um, a gift to like a great grandmother or a grandmother or, you know, something to mother. And then you did the art behind it. That was the family tree. Wouldn't that be cool? But I will definitely send these to the Visually Challenge. There are two of them, which I'm assuming that's what you were thinking when you sent it. So I am grateful for that. Thank you. So cool, Debbie. Wait, I get to measure again. Hold your britches on. The woman's measuring. You know these things make me happy, right? So this one's 8 by 10. I was about to guess that, but I was afraid to guess. I could be wrong. And it goes in that stack. Then we have this one. Which, this is, this is great as an example to folks. I have people ask me all the time. Um, well, what if there's marks on it, or maybe stickers are missing, um, or I've used a portion of the canvas, or the canvas got dirty. Folks, a lot of the people that I send these supplies to have very little that they're working with, or if they're mixed medium artists, look at that. It's no longer daunting, because it's not a plain white canvas, right? So... Exactly, that's what Jess is for. So all things like this are fabulous um, for them to work with and, or inspire them. Even if it's half done, they can finish it. Um, and I was thinking about that. If you're a artist and you're a mixed media artist, if you're the kind of person who says, I really, truly can only work on plain white canvas, you got to send me a note because me personally, I wouldn't even mind starting from someone else's beginnings. Take care, Liz, um, Oh, and another great example, right? This is a great background. And I think it says unicorns, which is even a fun inspiration word to get started with. This would be good for the visually challenged. And like I said, I have a couple. So these, these textures they can work with because even if they're having a really, really rough eye day and they just want to craft and feel good about crafting and letting it go. Wow, this one's really cool. Look at this one. That one is so cool. It's kind of hard to upcycle good grunge. Um, and then this one too. Glitter to start with. Definitely good stuff and very appreciative. And thank you for giving me that opportunity. Um, just as a heads up, and I was just thinking about this. Uh, if I'm opening a box... And um, it's not labeled on the outside, do not open. Then, I mean, do not open on camera. Then I will probably open it on camera. And I know that somebody asked me to, you know, not open it on camera. I also know that sometimes on the inside of boxes, it'll have your address. So now I do a better job of opening the boxes in advance to make sure I don't see any addresses on the inside. That kind of stuff. Oh my gosh, that's so cute with the three hearts in a row like that. You guys are adorable. 
Hey, Denise, I didn't even see you in here. So these dressmaker pens, um, they might end up in the jewelry artist's hands. Gorilla Glue. I know exactly where this is going, actually. It's going over with the adhesives that are going to be piled out for Christmas in July to some folks. So if you're a hardest, hey there, Janice. Denise. I just called you. I gave you a new name with a G. Janice. Um, yep, you heard that because it's sitting over there. That's where my adhesive are, adhesives are because I need to load them up on adhesives this month. Because I'm not sending anything but books in August, which means I need to send them enough adhesives for July and August. And guys, gals, isn't this adorable? Look at these! Oh my gosh, these are so flippin' cute. You know what I'm going to do, right? You can see it, you can smell it, and you know it. Right here. These are going to make the cutest little junk journals. Look at that! Oh yeah, I feel like I need to make a junk journal kit. What size is this folded? <gasps> it is not. It is two and a half. Please tell me it's it's two and a half by three and a half. You know what this is? This is an ATC book. Are you ready for this? Let me show you. Where's those ATCs from before? So for those of you who joined later, I'm about to show you some hardest ATCs that were shown in the beginning of the video. So hold your britches on. I'm not kidding how cool this is. Check this out. So I'm going to send... You see it like this? And then they can decorate the cover however they want. I probably would put that fold on the back side. This fold on the front side. Nope, this way. I probably personally would do it this way. There we go. How cool this is in size. It perfectly covers the ATCs. You can put quite a stack of them in there. Um, it depends on the thickness of them. And so when they do their ATC swap, they can have them. I can't flip these over because it has the person's name on the back. But, um, and then they can have them in there. Then, so here's the thing I'm going to have to show them is how to do the Coptic stitch. And it's okay to do the Coptic stitch because it lays pretty darn flat. Um when you have them in there so they can do it however they want like that and if they don't want to do it like that they can just slide them into the bags so yeah that that will be the plan because right now within the hardest group that's online on facebook we're doing an atc swap just like in crafting mamas which is kind of cool and not everybody in that group are our hardest and not every hardest is in that oops don't do that woman not every hardest is in that group and not everyone in that group is a hardest so that way they can still have their anonym anonymity in there oh yeah i have no idea how to spell beetlejuice <laughs> he's being called a whole lot worse. give me the right day and i get called a whole lot worse oh my gosh these are cute bags too look at these all right i need to put this back over So this is a page a day calendar with origami folds um, and actually uh, I think question for you guys do you think this actually would go along in uh, media mail do you think this would fit in the August thing looking for a yes or no in all caps because I kind of think it would be in media mail because it looks I mean it's in a box yes but it could it would be something I would get at a bookstore let's see oh they're separated pages though so maybe not maybe not I guess if I bound it <laughs> but I don't have any more minutes in a day hey there Laura all right Laura I'm gonna catch you up we're saying thank you to the hardest who sent her ATCs we're saying thank you to the eBay guy who sent the used but wickedly cool glassine guy glassine bags um, we're saying thank you to Lizzie, and there may be a secret person that I don't know about, could even be me, uh, for the jewelry bags, and we're saying thank you to Susan for her books, and right now I'm going through Debbie Brigham's box. <sighs> I need to breathe. But wait, there's more, and she's got fabulous junk journaling good stuff in here. 
And she told me one time that um, she just wants to fill every... Oh, look at this. You're a result of the love of thousands. Isn't that a great page? Oh, that is so cool. Let's read these now because I really liked that. Beautiful is you. Hello, gorgeous. Beautiful is you. Hello, gorgeous. Girl, you totally got this. And that is true for a couple of people right now who just started chemo. You got this. You totally got this. Just a girl with goals. These are good stuff. I'm not going to flip through every one because, like I said, I got seven boxes. We're going to be here a while. And you guys may move on and go to another channel. I'm okay with that. I totally am okay with that. I'm not offended. Oh, these Christmas little images, the keys to the past. You can tell that's from that same fabulous group. Forget-me-nots, the annuals. All right, that goes there. I'm trying to organize while I go. I'm not sure. Uh, that would be me dropping the clothespin. That's exactly what just happened. <gasps> Look at these. These are cool. These are so cool. I did it upside down. Little bunnies. Oh my gosh. This one has a pokey. There we go. There's the flower. I was trying to figure out the flower. Green leaves and yellow flowers. Just beautiful crochet. I mean, look at, even when you see the knots, that's just cool that she's able to do that. another one like this I mean this one makes me think of hummingbirds doesn't it with the way that it's so deep like that the yellow ones another pink bunny I mean this one looks like one of those peeps <laughs> it does and another fabulous leaf too cool so um she and I were talking about pill bottle crafts and I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever done pill bottle crafts but um, one of the things the disabled artists might have is pill bottles. And so if you guys have come across any videos that are good ideas on how to upcycle the pill bottles instead of tossing them, let me know. I mean, it is nice when it's one of those reversible tops like this. Um, oh, look, and she filled it with yummies. Oh, my gosh, it's filled with flowers. <gasps> Somebody's going to be happy because I'm going to send it just like this. Oh my gosh, it's a pill bottle filled and decorated, but with flowers. And you know what? I'm not even going to open them anymore because whoever gets them is going to be excited when they go through them. That is fantastic. Um, so yes, of course, pill bottles for storage. And this is a fabulous size pill bottle. Um, of course, if you want to send pill bottles and you want to up because, you know, you don't feel like upcycle them. That's perfectly fine, too. They're good for mailing beads in because the top locks. Um, as long as I wrap the beads and they're not breakable, that kind of thing. The other thing is that, um, oh, I could do cotton instead of wrapping the beads. You know, the way they do with pills when they ship the pills. That might work. Ooh, upcycling pill bottles into ink blenders. Ooh, I'll go check that out. I'll definitely go check that out. Well, if you guys could join me in saying thank you to Debbie, uh, that was just too cool and too much fun to go through. And it got my creative juices going. I don't know about y'all. All right, here we go. Did I cut the label off of this? Yes, I did. This one is from the fabulous Lynn. I do know that she said there's some stuff in here that's gonna be going for the auction. So we're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled for that. And she usually does a good job of letting me know, but her world has been upside down and inside out. So let me say this really, really quick. One, if you're one of those folks who does, you know, send healing hug, love, prayers, that kind of thing, please make sure you do that. She's going through some uh, stuff uh, now and has been for a little bit. And so let's just make sure that her love and hugs are, are out there as well. So... When when I say it like that, I mean that 
You know, it's sometimes when it's out of your control and you really want it to be in your control, you just feel less help, help, you know, anyway, and it consumes so much of your time. Well, with that said, for those of you who still don't have a couple of the things from the last auction, if you happen to be watching this video, um, I promise you she will send it. She's told me that she has them done. She just hasn't gotten to USPS and her world is crazy. So please forgive her. She's always doing the best she can. Um, and in this case, I'm even amazed you have this box out here, Lynn, honestly. So I'm just going to go through this 12 by 12 paper because guess what? It's paper month and I'm sending a ton of paper this month. Designer construction. Oh my gosh, this is vintage construction paper. <gasps> That's freaking cool. And it's marbled too. Oh my gosh, that's so freaking cool. Oh, that is cool. I'm going to set that aside. That might make its way into an auction there. You got puppies. I just went through a whole kitty thing that looks so similar to these puppies. And a little mermaid. Reusable and recyclable. And you know what? That's what we're going to do. Look at that. That's a great one. That is a really good idea to do the chipboard like this. You know, where the your page is gradually smaller and smaller. It'd be really easy to do that. I'll check to see if I have rectangles and squares inside of one of my big dies. I might. Oh my gosh, I can already tell I'm going to love this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's a shoe book. Do you see? And so you could add totally... You see that? The book right there. All right, or if you misbehave, I mean, I don't know about some of you, but it could be a paddle. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> that is really cool, and it already has one page in there to turn this into a book. I think that would be the coolest little mini book. And you could just use this shape to carve out your pattern for the papers. Hand cut out those papers and make the coolest little mini book. That is cool. And then, of course, use the design to make more. You know, you can use it as a template. Oh, yeah. You know, I totally think Laura is going to be the one that gets paddled. And then these fabulous ones. And then for the mixed media artists, this adds great texture. In fact, not even just the mixed media artists. Anyone with a jelly plate. This is another thing that adds fabulous texture. You know, you put on your ink. Add this on. Um, pull it back off and you have the cool texture on your jelly plate and because it's soft it's not going to damage your plate so that's all good stuff what do we have in here oh that's cool definitely going to make some jewelry artists really really happy these are the things to make brooches oh my gosh that's so cool uh, did I do that wrong? I did there we go Christmas card list. Oh my gosh, that's cute. But look. Oh my gosh. This is definitely going in the auction, y'all. Oh, it's not even open. I can't even get to it. It's not open. So on the inside, I'm going to have to tell you because it's going to be a glare. It says Christmas card exchange. And it says name, address, city, state, zip. It's all done in green. I know you can't see it very well. And it says, if they move. And then it has the new address, city, state, zip. And then it says, what year sent and received. Isn't that funny? Like tracking who sends and receives. And there's a whole stack of them. I mean, what do you guys think that is? A hundred plus? That is pretty cool. What's in this one? Oh, yeah, she left me a note. Vintage auction. Yeah, it definitely looks vintage. Oh, and it's the alphabet. That's what's in there. Printed in the USA, Boland and Bolden of Bolden, Colorado. Oh my gosh, that is just so flipping cute. Yep, y'all are gonna see it tomorrow at noon, not at two, just so y'all know. At noon. Where is my gonna go to auction pile? Let me put it with the birds. Blackboard photo box. Oh, that's cool. Think pic. <laughs> Think chipboard without the ugly gray edges oh my gosh that's so funny 
but it's a photo box you see like that so they can totally decorate this and use it for storage and again this is one of those things I'm really thinking with the visual challenges because of the size and doing mixed media with the art so that'll be cool hold your britches on Okay, I thought it was an address for a second. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? 1950s, Flor Florencia, made in Italy, stamp holder, shabby chic, some touch-ups. Oh my gosh. And so you guys, oh my gosh, look at this with this, the way the stamp holder is set up. Oh, that is definitely vintage and fun. And I'm really... Oh, the instructions on the other side. I should take that out and take a peek at that. I got it right next to me. Let me check that out. Hold your britches. I want to see. I'm going to take out the top page. No, nope, no. Nope. Bottom page. Let's take out the bottom page. So... It tells you first, which, oh, those are good instructions, too. I don't know if y'all are origami folks, but look, it's a sweetheart. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Then it just shows you the, the pretty paper on one side and then how to make it on this side. That's so cute. And, of course, it'd be a heart. They just knew I was going to pull it out. The angels are with me. That is so cute. Very, very grateful. Thank you very much, Debbie. You know what I didn't do now that I'm thinking about you, Debbie? Is I didn't write Lynn's name down. Yep, that's why my hand is off to the side is writing down Lynn's name and shh, shh, I'm taking a sip. Oh, you didn't see that. No worries, I have water to follow. It's all, oh my gosh, she had vintage lace again. Look at this. Oh, so what I was going to say a second ago and my brain totally fudged it up is um, besides lace, besides flowers... I signed up to do Shabby Chic and then, a, uh, you know, Halloween for August. Those are my two um, scary things and Shabby Chic, which don't necessarily go together. But I like to have a theme because it helps me gather supplies and keep the auctions from looking the same every time. Um, but look at this vintage cotton lace before I get all carried away. And of course, junk journal kits are my personal go-to because I love junk journals. And tomorrow's auction, oh my gosh, I have way too many junk journal kits. Um, oh, way too many junk journal kits. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I was having a blast making them, and that's just what happened. And so what doesn't sell, it doesn't sell. That's fine. What does sell will be good. Um... And so I think for the junk journals, I'll take like half of them and have a starting price and the other half will be a buck a piece starting price for the auction thing because there's so many junk journal kits. But for those of you who are there tomorrow, um, if one of you or two of you could remember to say to the group, because I know I'm going to forget, that there's a lot more that you can do with the kits besides just make junk journals because you can use the supplies to make embellishments or scrapbooks or mixed media things. There's all different ways to use those kits. And I know I'm going to forget to say that tomorrow. So, because I really do have a lot. Oh, we know these are going in the shabby chic auction, y'all. Look at these. These are four by four inch coaster looking fun things. And I'll take it apart when we get to the auction. It's a hundred percent cotton too. Come back up there. Yeah, that is really, really cool. That's something I would totally buy, too. And definitely good for um, the Shabby Chic month. I should have a little bin for Shabby Chic. Hold your britches. I need to start organizing for that, too. Yep. 
<gasps> you know what? I didn't finish going through Debbie's box. When I finish here, I'll go back to Debbie's because I realize it's sitting behind me. You guys know I'm that absent-minded, right? Oh my gosh, you're right. Clusters. How could I not say clusters, Laura? Of course, Laura. You would say clusters because you're on the ball with it. Your clusters are so amazing. If you guys have never seen my video on clusters where we did the cluster swap, oh, some of those folks in that cluster swap, they were absolutely stunning. These are fun, aren't they? These little bits. Oops, that was off screen. And then wax thread of different sizes. And she's got fun stuff here. Fun buttons. Let's make more brooches, more for the jewelry makers. Isn't that cool? And the Hardest had a lot of fun making the key kits this month. Um, and I saw some of the coolest pictures of their art when they were making them. It's fun when they do that itty bitty beads. You want to know something that I have in this auction is... Oh, there's more of these. They're so perfect. Now you can see how perfect they are. Set that over with those ones. Oh, findings. I'm dancing for this because I'm happy to send this to the jewelry makers. Home of the free because of the brave. Veterans of foreign wars. That's so cute. Little bottles. Twos and frumsies. Little tags. Cards. Ooh, I should do that one time too. Make um, card journal kits because it's so easy and it's a great introduction in how to make junk journals. Is because the cards are already folded for you. It gets you started. You can use the envelopes, and then when you're decorating them and filling them up, it's it's really kind of fun to make the pockets and tags and tucks and things. It's a good intro. So maybe I should do that for the hardest one time. You know, just give everybody a stack of twenty or thirty cards. Um, and then they can carve out some of it. Like this, if I saw this card and I was doing a junk journal, first of all, I want to make an owl out of it. Do you guys see the owl, the eyes right here? <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. Um, and I would just bring the... Anyway, forget all that. Um, but you can carve out the different pieces in the cards to make your pockets and tucks and things. This is really cool card, by the way. Where's it, where's it from? Moisten here to seal and mail. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then it's postcard card. Well, that's kind of cool. Then envelopes. Notepads. For the love of notepads, it makes junk journaling so easy. Yes, yes. Just in case you didn't know, clusters and junk journals are my... Zen spaces because I get to just play. I do have a person in mind for the fabulous things like this. That is cool. Um, so I haven't heard from her in a little while. She used to message me a lot. Now actually that I'm thinking about her, I need to check to make sure she's okay and everything's okay. Yeah, note to self, I'm going to be off screen for two seconds to write her name down and make sure she's okay. Fabulous napkins. And I have to tell you, I know someone sent me a message recently and said, oh, I sent you napkins, but it's very few, um, blah, 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 blah. Um, I have to tell you, there is no such thing as too many napkins because napkins have so many purposes and so many uses, everything from mixed media to the paper crafters. And even the jewelry makers can enjoy a few napkins to inspire them. So... I have no problem with the napkins. And the other thing that napkins do for me is um, they soften the blow on breakable things, right? So, um, of course, tissue paper does the same thing, but that's what I mean by the jewelry folks. So they can enjoy having things. Oh, you need the Home of the Brave cards? Those are going for sure, Linda. Done. What did I do with the auction thing? There it is. Done. <laughs> but on the napkin thing so don't feel like oh I packed my box I need to take them out no you don't need to take them out if you've already done that now I'm not telling everybody to go buy napkins that's not what I'm saying by any means it always makes me nervous when I speak of something specific um, because I don't want people to feel pressure but 
Napkins are definitely one of those can continuously use. And my chair is driving me nuts. Guys, we're, we're squeaking away in here. And these are cool. All right, so a pile of yummies. These are going to be divvied out when I finally get those tassel kits out. So. Oh, an American fabric book. How cool is that? You want me to just mail it to you, or do you want it to go into the auction? It's okay to say just mail it, because it's okay. I'm looking for red, white, and blue. I'm going to add to your fun stuff when we mail it to you. There we go. It's not quite white. It's a little off-white, but there you go. That'll go with it. We need a little envelope. Oh, wait, we just got one. Now I'm not going to give you a choice anyway. <laughs> Whatever I want. Nope, I'm not even going to give you a choice. I'm going to send it as a thank you for being you. It's all good. Do you fit that way? Nope. And so you're going to go in there. And you're going to go in there. And I'm going to put a little note on the back. And look at this. She's even got a pen in here. She knew we were going to have this conversation, Linda. Linda. We have a couple of Lindas, so I have to write your last name. Can you do me a favor, Linda, and just send me an email? Because my next two days are going to be really, really busy. Can you send me an email that says um, planner shelf? I know that's going to sound really silly. Um, planner shelf, and then just say home of the brave. That's totally cool. It'll remind me. Because that's where I just stuck it was on my planner shelf, so I don't forget to mail it. But I know that I'm going to say, where did I put that for safekeeping? That's going to come out of my mouth. And she does the pill bottle thing, too. Check that out. She's got yummy little things in there. For organizing, I mean, the pill bottle thing for organizing. You know what? Let me do this. I totally think this is going to fit. And this is all going to go to, oh, maybe it's not going to fit. These ones will. It's all going to go to a beating person anyway. There we go. Yep, you have to see me just dawdle. That's how it goes. I know, I know, I know. Oh, these are so cute. You know you want to see it too. How is the lighting working for you anyway? I don't even have it on screen. Oh, look at this. And you know what's funny is I do have a few strawberry shortcake things left. And so this would be really, really cute as um, charms for the journals, wouldn't they? Little, little strawberries. I know it's a weird request, request Linda. And odds are, um, I'll remember. But, oh, Falut, so happy to see you. All right, you know what I was just thinking? Let me show you something really quick while I'm here. I mean, you guys know about tomorrow's auction, but I have this sitting next to me. I had to print it because someone screenshotted it for me when I lost the card. So tomorrow is Christmas in July plus Curious George, which, oh my gosh, that kit, that, that junk journal kit, my favorite. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun putting that together. And all the, there's a ton of different Christmas kits and some frozen kits and some other stuff and oh, just fun, fun stuff. And all the auctions, there's a little lace, there's a little fabric, there's some kits, there's some jewelry, um, there's some paper, there's some finished art, there's some unfinished things, craft supplies, etc. Um, I don't know why I rewrote some of it. Um, but for August, it's vintage and shabby chic, and I didn't write it down on here, but it's also um, scary or Halloweeny stuff. For September, this is now going to be held on Jessica Rapp's channel. I'll still be there. It's going to be on September 21st. And that's what I'm telling you guys, is because we now have a date set. Um, it's not going to be the second Saturday. It'll be the third, and it'll be on Jessica Rapp's channel, and Darla Walker will be assisting us. Um, and so that is going to be a 
slightly different style of fundraiser because in some cases if people want to donate and they go through our channel and do that kind of stuff we're going to have some of the stuff in screenshots and that's where Darla is going to help um, I'm trying to make it less effort for the month of August that's why I'm sharing the responsibility and Jessica Rapp and Darla have assisted so in October for October 5th again not the second Saturday I'm sorry guys I've moved it out for you guys so um, so for two months in a row, it's going to be a different Saturday. So that one's going to be the first Saturday. And that theme is actually craft fair. I know that's a little crazy, but, um, that should be kind of, kind of fun in that one. Ooh, fall junk journal packs for the auction. Those would be cool. Those would be really, really cool. Um, November, I want it to be in the spirit of Tim Holtz or Tim Holt itself. Um, his materials and feeling steampunkish for November and then December it's for the birds and for the planners yep that's that's how that one goes so I know that uh, other people hold auctions and not everybody's gonna know when other people's auctions are but I like to give you guys a bit of a heads up because two of those upcoming ones are not on the second Saturday like they always fall so trying to give enough of a heads up that I don't mess with other people's auctions too and look at these purses holy smacks isn't that cool purses and fun fussy cutting scissors well not fussy cutting what do we call these decorative edge scissors oh that would be so and and to do it in a kit saves me time you know, I had a lot, I do have a lot of fun putting together some of the kits. It's almost like an art or a craft in itself. But this month I got a little carried away. And these go in there. And then we have shiny bright dots. And oh my gosh, look at these Google AIs. So I've been saying for a while, pinking shears. Thank you, Linda. I've been saying for a while that I want to get giant googly eyes, maybe not that big. I want to get big googly eyes because um, how big are the purses? Which purses? What did I do? What was I talking about? I, but I want to get big googly eyes for the um, uh, Roomba, my turtle that runs around the house and does the vacuum cleaner. And this reminds me, I haven't done that yet. And it would be so funny. But for the love of googly eyes, what does it says? I can't find any more. Sweetheart shaped bottom cups. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, so these uh, cups had like different shapes at the bottom of these cups. And what they did was, and they make nice imprints and they're soft and they're not soft. They're they're not sharp and they wouldn't damage jelly plates. So if those ended up in the craft supplies, um, they make cool stamps. They make cool shapes. They look like a little star, I think, on the ones that she sent before. But oh, the purses that were in my hands. <laughs> oh, I need a new brain. Let me tell you. Give me give me a second. They are an inch and three quarters. Oh, that's funny. They're an inch and it's an inch and three quarters. So almost two inches each. Do you want that in the auction? Because they are cute. Are you doing a project that it reminded you of? They're what they are. Let me show you what they are. It's metal on the front, and then you can attach anything you want. And on this one, it has um, a little paper clip. Isn't that cute? So it'd be easy to glue on a little paper clip. Yep, done. It's over in the I'm going in the auction section. Wait, I have two piles of that. How did that happen? Okay, you guys, look at this. And you guys know that I am currently doing the um, tassel kits. Look at how perfectly sized these are for the tassel kits. 
And so I can just roll off a whole bunch of this and it feels fabulous to the touch. Like, um, it's not cotton by any means, but it has a fun, slightly rough texture to it. So if you had it in one of the tassels, um, these are going to the hardest, not in the auction. And I've been working on them for a long time because I have such a huge variety and I'm gradually gathering. And then when I gather it, besides my normal making other kinds of kits and auction stuff and the other stuff, um, I'm trimming these in anything from 12 inches to 21 inches. But yeah, that's, that, that is going into the tassel kits and happily so. Very, very happy about that. I mean, it won't get put away for two days because <laughs> I'm going to be working on the auction for a couple days, but. Okay, these are shaped rubber bands. That's kind of cool. They're animals, people, and what else? I'll split these up. I won't give them all just to one person. Oh, that's so cute. This one's like a lion. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm going to send a little note because I have a group of people. Oh, look at this one. That's so cute with the heart like that. There's a whole bunch of them like this. This might be really good for the people who are in the group that have the brain injury just um, a couple hours up north. So I might put this whole package in there and tell her because they like to touch and sort things and it's very, um, uh, it's a slightly sticky band. So, hey there Lynn, yes, yes, this is your box. Good timing. You wanna know something funny Lynn, is I was going through Debbie's box and I thought I was done because my table was clear and I forgot that right behind my bum there's the rest of her box. So after I do, you know, I did Debbie's box and then I do your box and then I go back to Debbie's box and I'm going to be on here for a long time because I still have a lot more boxes to go through too. And so thank you. Thank you, Lynn. And if I haven't said so already, everybody make sure you say, I got a list guys. Make sure you say thank you to the eBay guy, Lizzie, Susan Cords, Debbie Brigham and Lynn so far, but then there's three more boxes to follow. So, yeah, Lynn, these are good for the people that have the brain injuries in that one group. I think it's so cool. Trims! Woohoo! So, yeah, the tassel kits are not going out this month in June, guys, because the trims are going to go in with the tassel kits then. Are you thinking tassels with those trims, Lynn? Or are you thinking shabby chic month? Oh, my gosh. Look at these. These are 1980 napkins and... She says, one each at $3. This would be like the auction finale. Wouldn't this be fun to put this one in the auction finale? Oh, the rubber band colors meant different things? Ooh, well, Lucy, if you find out what those different colors are from your daughter, let me know. Or maybe I could look that up. Ooh, or I'll tell them to look that up. That's a good idea. That is cute. Look at that unicorn. All right, that goes in my in the auction pile. Oh, and these are fabulous, the plastic canvas. You know, it's great because a couple of people have said after seeing that other plastic canvas video, um, 40 yards of white, yes, zigzag, yes, yes, yes. Um, large size, what does large size mean? Does it mean like the wider bands? Are you thinking like Rick Rack stuff? I'm confused. I, my brain is not on full mode, but that's because I'm at the beginning or in the middle. I'm in the middle of my beer. Right. Nice. Well, these guys, after seeing the uh, and having a big old conversation with some folks on the plastic canvas shapes, um, many of the hardests have now made requests for them, which I think is fabulous. So, um, yeah, that is really, really cool to have a new project thing that so many people are super interested in. Class sets. So this is, this is the kind, like, in the back of necklaces and bracelets. Jewelry, folks. Christmas. Yummy. Would you stop? You know, I need to fix my screen. It keeps blacking out. That's why you keep having to see my arm in here. But 
this is like a heart shape wreath almost. Do you see how it's doing that? It's not doing that on purpose, but oh, there's two of them. Woman, there's two of them. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. But I'm going to go ahead and put that one in with the hardest because I have some people really looking forward to Christmas stuff. And my brain has been saying I run into more. Oh, it's for candles. So it goes at the bottom of the candle thing. Fuzzy gold ribbon. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Blue stars, like a royal blue. And you can't see it because my lighting is like all crazy. And if I open it, I'm going to drop it. So you're not going to see it, but some artist is going to be excited when they get all the blue stars. No one needs to cut off the berries. Ooh, look at these. Oh, these are cool, y'all. Look, it's flat-backed right here. These are really, really cool. And these tassels. Yep, this one's not flat back. This one has a hoop at the top. So I think what someone did was this was trim. And I think they wrapped the trim to become tassels. And they are awesome. You see that? Aren't they cool? Because they're not all the same size, but they're very similar. And they're really cool. All right, y'all, does that? Yeah, it's definitely that way. See? Okay, here's the question. Oh, they all have loops. Does anybody know if this is considered shabby chic with this color? I don't know. I don't know if I put the... Oh, this one has a pink little shiny. I'm kind of feeling it because I think it falls into... And yes, I have it off tomorrow. Oh, boho. Oh, I don't have a boho. We'll save that for next year. Boho is good stuff. Boho for sure. I agree with you. But you know what? Unless somebody calls it for the auction, this is going into the hardest kits. It's good stuff, though. They're going to love that. Okay, this is vintage. Oh, my gosh, it's so cute. Little cards that say open house. And then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Hand tied with love. And this says tally, 12 tallies. What is a tally for? Oh, these are bridge tallies. Oh my gosh, this is fabulous for junk journaling. That's definitely for the auction. It says on there, for auction. I'm obeying, Lynn. What else do we have going on here? We have list pads. I support wounded vet. Do do you want this in your little envelope? Which... <laughs> I have right here, Linda. I'm going to put it in there anyway. It's going to fit. Check it out. Linda, it's in there. Oh, wait, 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 look. I'm going to put a couple of these in there, too. Oh, my gosh. How fun is that? That's good stuff. All right, Linda. We have a fabulous list of to-do list. And then look at this one. Holiday decorations program of Oakland. My husband is a Raiders fan. You guys all know I'm a Buccaneers fan. Oh, she likes Philly number two better. Yes, I gave her the drink coasters. They were perfect. She's currently working on a book. Oh, these are so cute. You have come a long way, missus. Like the Raiders say, you've come a long way, baby. Well, not this year they haven't come a long way. We'll see. Every year, he says, it's going to be a good year. <laughs> nope. Woohoo! Another Bucks fan. You know, I don't think it's going to be a good year for us. I hate to say that, Denise, but you know, for your doily maker friend. Coolie, coolie, cool. It's Stacy. We also have a hardest who's trying to learn how to crochet, but um, 
I totally will send this to her as a thank you. I love that. I love, love, love that. That is so cool. Yep, yep, yep. Stacy. I'm going to put that on here too because right now my brain remembers. Yeah, this is definitely not beginner, I can tell. You guys all know Stacy Whitehouse, right? Is it Whitehouse or Whitehouse? No, right? Just win, baby. That's definitely the Raiders one. That's um that's the Al guy, Al Davis. Oh, and he will be called the Prince of Peace. Look at this cute notepad. Oh, and you know what? These are monkeys, and you guys know that um, the Curious George stack of fun stuff. Oh, my gosh. Just wait. Oh, you've made doilies, too, Elizabeth? Oh, I've got to see your doilies. I think you sent some. Or, no, but that was a different Elizabeth. Was that you who sent some doilies that had the flower in the middle? Okay, that goes into the auction. Now, sitting on my computer is stuff going into the auction. I'm going to run out of room. Look at the bling. And you know what I'm going to do, Lynn? Um, oh, it fell out of the other one. Done. What did I do with the first one? Oh, there it is. There we go. See, now they're together. They're back in love again. Like the lizards I saw earlier today, which was certainly, you know, belonged on, what is that, the learning channel? Ooh, these are great papers. Oh, I like the texture of them, too. That you, you guys ever feel the paper that kind of has that linen feel? I agree, Susan. Oh, I like the texture. And these are good colors. You want to know one of the Christmas kits. You guys are going to think it's funny. I did one in the 70s vibe. <laughs> yeah, there was definitely some lizard love today. Lizard love... And of all places, a bougainvillea. Why? Because the cats can't climb it to catch the lizards. <laughs> they know. They know where to go. Oh, I used to have this exact same paper. I love that paper. I actually, um, I cut this apart differently. And it was a 12 by 12 paper. I cut this one apart differently. And you're going to think this is funny. But I had like a two and a quarter circle. And I had a one inch circle and I took and I cut them all out in circles and then it was part of um, it was part of one of my scrapbook pages when I was back in the day of scrapbooking. And then so I had a big old big old circle punch and a little circle punch. And that they just became like not balloons, but the circles on the page. It was really cute. Anyway, it's funny how I see those things and you know, I did tell everyone that it was time for you to be in their thoughts and prayers as well, Lynn, with all the drama and stress that you're going through these days. Yeah, I gotcha. These are good pages. This is pretty in pink. Oh my gosh, that would be a funny theme, wouldn't it? Before your... Oh my gosh! A lot of the old orange and... Oh, my gosh. He even had the border paper. That, and Tony Dungy did that? That is so sweet. That is so sweet. I know, right? Shabby pink. I think this kind of... You know, guys, you, you have to know that I am going to... You're going to laugh at me. I'm going to fail at making shabby chic. It's, it's just... You guys are going to be like, okay, woman... That is not what Shabby Chic looks like. It's not. That's what's going to happen. You guys are going to laugh. That is just the sweetest thing I ever heard. Oh, this is good. This falls into the books for the hardest month. It is a bunch of ideas on... Oh, look at how they did their folder like that. That is cute. All right, what is this one from? Cards, the hardest, the hottest trends in card making. Oh, and that's just for January, too. Smack of Janolis, but yep, that's going out in book month. What do I do with my stack of books? That's where my stack of books is now. 
<gasps> oh, they're going to like this a lot. Um, this is one of those texture ripper things, hardists. All right, here's how it's going to go. I have someone in mind for this, but if you're a hardist and you're watching this and you really, really want this, send me an email or... Oh, that's a good point. I could make it shabby and boho. Because then it'd be shabby and boho. And, you know, the scary Halloween. Because August is a good month for the Halloween-y stuff. I don't have a lot of the Halloween-y stuff. That's why I don't mind throwing a couple things in there. Party Party Pencils. Cardstock. Oh, and that is really pretty. Oh, this is for the Tim Holtz month. Yep, I'm definitely saving this. And like I said before, Tim Holtz month is November. That's not coming up yet, but it's definitely coming up. I'm going to sort those ones out. Oh, you know, I need to do a better job of sorting this. I'll do that. I'll do a better job. And you're like me. Stamps. Did you see this? Did you? What did I do with that? I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. The guy who sells a lot of stamps. Look at this. Look, he covered it with enough stamps to mail off the package. Isn't that the coolest things? That's awesome. Oh, the stamps are veteran. Oh my gosh, Linda, aren't you happy? You're such a sweetie. There you go. Perfect. Okay, guys, look at this. Isn't that cute? And it's a it's a tiny chick brooch. So you can call it vintage. See, I did say shabby chic and vintage because I actually do have some authentic and amazing vintage things. In fact, you're going to see some in this auction because I have some really, really cool cards from the 30s that I have. Um, they're the original ones, really, really cool, that were mailed off for Christmas and they're Christmas cards from the 30s. Precious. And so I do have some really cool vintage stuff that will be in the Shabby Chic auction. So even though you'll be making fun of me for the I don't get Shabby Chic right, I definitely get um, antique and vintage okay. Because I do love me some... And okay, now you're making me want some chocolate. Seriously, everyone zoom in. Do we or do we not want a little bit of chocolate? Oh my gosh. And now, now all I can think about is chocolate. You know, we might even take a break at some point for an ice cream sandwich. All right, I'm going to get these without trouble. You know, that is what I love about these, um, just so you guys know. These flat rate boxes are awesome because it fits 12 by 12 paper. The downside of the flat rate boxes, <laughs> you have that paper too. <laughs> I know, I want ice cream too. Um... But the downsides of the flat rate boxes is I got to trim them to be exactly the 12 inches. So I'm going to go through these real quick because, oh, you know you love them. We know we love the paper. Got the pinks and the greens. Oh my gosh, I have some watermelon fabric. I think somebody sent it. Maybe I ordered it, but it would be so good with these papers that this is about to make its way to... Oh, I have this paper. I have that paper too. Must have been in the same set. That is good stuff. And this. Stay. All right. The paper's down at the bottom. But I'm going to put the auction stuff in it now. Oh, that's right. These guys have too long of a neck for that. I wish they would have made this box about an inch longer. Because this part right here is a little less than an inch too short to tuck on the inside to make it stronger or to tie it around the outside. And so for the stuff going into the auction for this month, I need to put them in here so I know where they go. And now I have a box for the auction stuff for this month. No, that's not this month, that's another one. All right, and I can set aside the stuff for the other month. Oh, you know what? Let's put that in for this month. 
No, wait, let's put that in for this month too. And I got your purses in there too. So now that part's done and I am going to move all the fabulous stuff off to the last. And my favorite thing, Len, is this. How cool this is. It just, oh, it just makes you warm and fuzzy. It does. Oh my gosh, it's fabulous. All right, are you guys ready? So first off, join me in making sure that you say thank you to Lynn because that was pretty amazing. And we are on to... Ooh, that's heavy. No, right? In journal. Sue Gray. And yes, I did peek. I peeked and I opened the letter already. I know, I'm thinking it should be a journal. Totally think it should be a journal. I mean, I'm tempted to make something with it myself and then make a template for it and then mail it, putting that into an auction because it's so freaking adorable. Um, and whatever's in it, it's got to be some fancy pants stuff that's in it, so... I don't know. No, huh? Isn't that cool? I can't believe how many there are. So I'm going to read this. So, hi, Care. As you can see, I stuffed the box full. I hope this will help your artists. Some stuff is new and old, but still good. Thanks for all you do. As an artist myself, art is my therapy. If you would like, please check out my channel, Crafty Artist Suze. Have an awesome day. Hugs. Sue. Well, we will check out her channel as a thank you as well. So, that's who she is. And her name is Crafty Artist Sue. Not Sue's. I think I said Stu Sue's. I know! I see stamps! It does look like a cold D stash. So we have fabulous... What are these little heartsy things called from Valentine's Days? Oh, the box behind me! Elizabeth, I love you. I do, I do. You d See? What would I do without you, Elizabeth? Hold your britches on, everyone. Hold your britches. Debbie's box, y'all. I never finished Debbie's box. It's coming out. I'm coming out. So you better get this potty started. It's not coming out. Hold your britches. It's stuck. There we go. Now it's coming out. Isn't that so funny? Thank you so much, Elizabeth. All right. There's something at the bottom that says I want to come out. No, it's not. I ripped the box. Yep. But it's just the box. Butterfly bling. Are we ready for this? Nope, you're not coming off that way. You're coming off this way. I, you know, there are two hardests that I know I'm going to get a message from that say, I love butterflies, because I have two folks who have on their wish list things that say anything butterfly. All right, everyone, you're getting a sneak peek because I love to leave surprises for them. So that's what's going to be in here. That's so cool. It is going to be a butterfly bling box. And I messed it up, but they can fix it. No worries, Debbie. I apologize. And they've got bling. Oh my gosh, they're going to love that. Okay, I shouldn't say they. One person will get it, and she is going to love it. And I'm going to flip for it. It's not going to be who sends me the question first. I'm just going to flip a coin, because I know who they are. So for someone who has such a crappy memory, how come my brain can remember who likes which things and who has which wish list? You know? Oh, you are, Elizabeth. You know what? That's so funny because, Elizabeth, I almost... Should I flip the coin right now, Elizabeth, to see if it goes to you or the other hardest? Should we do that? Or should I just send it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm already playing with things. That's what just happened because um, for some reason I'm thinking... Oh, we're growing a pineapple. It's finally growing now. Isn't that kind of exciting? This reminds me of a pineapple. That's why I said that. 
All right, well, I'm trying to make it stick, but I'm just playing with it. This is good for the mixed media artist. And she has a bunch in here too. Oh, and she has a good green tassel. And some flowers. But wait, there's more. Oh, I love these kind. These kinds of flowers right here. Look at that. Why do I love these kind? Ask me. Ask me why I love these kind. Because I put them inside of big paper flowers. And you have one little teeny flower inside of big paper flowers. And I just like the layers because onions have layers, right? You know, I might put those in the other baggie. And the other thing that's really cool about this, which I haven't done this yet, but um, things like this are going to be great for when the people... Oh, and you can paint the petals with glitter and nail polish. That's so cool to fancy them up. The other thing is, I know I have to have showed you guys this before, and you don't want to keep seeing the same things, but on the to-do list is um, little fairy dolls made out of clothespins and so these kinds of things when I see them now it's a part of what's going to supply them with their fairy doll supplies and they all have that glitter nail polish that um, was in the last auction I can put more in this auction if anybody wants it I do have more still um, but that glitter nail polish is awesome and uh, you're right they can do that and it it would it does it stiffen I wonder if it would stiffen them I kind of want to try it now but it'd be good for them in making those um, fairy dolls. Oh, that's fun paper. Fun with flower stencils. Pretty, pretty paper. I love your corner rounder. And then a tag. And some junk journal fodder. That's good stuff. Oh my gosh, and how cute this is. All right, here we go. I don't want to ask you which year, but I am going to show this to you. And I'm going to yell out some years. Oh, I can't yell out some years. These people think we're young. It only goes down to 70... 72. That's where it goes down to. Dag nebbit. Yep, it only goes down to 72. So I will tell you guys, and you can figure out, um, I am a rabbit. So we have make today great. You know, we want to make every day great, huh? I like when it says stuff like that about today, because every day is today on the day that we read today. You know, <laughs> youngsters. Oh, you know... That's the year you graduated. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> oh, I like that paper. Look at that good stuff. Isn't that fabulous? Oh my gosh, I feel like doing art right now. A step back in time. For the record, ooh, I so want to do a journal on records. Wouldn't it be fun to do a journal on records where the cover is a record and the, and, and the um, inside... Oh, they'd be 12 by 12 because records are 12 by 12. Huh. I don't know how to fix that. And she has double-sided stick tape. How fabulous that is. And no, I'm not making a mess. I just know where the box is. And back in the day, I could play basketball, so I know I can make this in the box. Hold your britches. Yep. It made it in the box. All right, here we go. She has, oh, steel letter number stamping set. You are freaking awesome. Guys, look at this. She shoots, she scores. Exactly. <laughs> I love you guys. Oh, I love you guys. Okay, here we go. That's the ampersand. And nope, we're not going to see it all up close because I'm not going to be able to get you to zoom with this kind of lighting. But this is going to make someone crazy happy. It is, it is exciting. And do not worry about it coming out of the bag because it's going to come out of the bag on me too. And this is awesome. Super freaking awesome. 
And then she has Elmer's school glue in this one. And guess what? It made the shipment. Nothing got glued on. That was an excellent test. So thank you for doing that test. And then we have large eye pens. Oh, that's really a good eye pen. Wouldn't it be fun? <gasps> the little records. Ooh, remember that guy who gave all of the, um, I don't know where they're at. But you know the music labels? Should I put those in the auction again this month? Those music label things and people can buy some. I'd like to see how people used them last time. They're so freaking amazing. And bling. I think the bling fell out of something, but somebody else will end up in this bling. And for the love of yummy. And when I was talking about the fairy, now you guys see it, right? The fairy with these kinds of things. Oh, they're good for the plastic canvas. Ooh, that's good to know. So these guys are going in a future auction. And that's going in a future auction. All right, I have my future auction stash all nice and safe. Oh my gosh, doily wings would be so cute too. All right, now we're ready. Put this aside. All right, I need my muscles again. <sighs> yep, that's a heavy box, y'all. That is a really heavy box. Okay, let me see if I have something. Hold your britches, get a cup of water. This is going to take me 32 seconds. I will be right back. Never mind, I don't have to leave. I can use the box sitting to my left. I need a safe place to put the stamps. That's why. Did I already read this? I think I did. <laughs> I can't hold back. How about, how about you just have Lynn hold your britches for you? Don't worry. The lizards took care of it earlier. No one's going to mess with you. They were really pretty lizards, but I felt like, um, I know, we should take a tea break. Oh, my goodness. So, um, I feel like a little kid when I have sweet snacks and high tea. Is there anybody else like that? Is it just me? Do you guys feel like you're three years old, sitting down, having a hot cup of tea and a little sweet, and it's just, okay, good, water break. We're good for a water break. But yeah, high tea, seriously, love high tea. I think I read this. I'll leave this open for a second because I don't want people to come on and go, what happened? She's frozen. <laughs> you're in bed, it's hot. Oh, I do have water and I do have a drink. But I should get a better box than the other one. So I am going to go get a, a better box. We're going to take a one-minute water break, two-minute water break, however long you need for a water break. And yes, I'm drinking off screen. I think that's allowed. Lynn, we don't need to get the lex next level of lizard detail going on there because we are PG now. <laughs> oh, I think I've always been PG. That is S-U-Z, right, for Sue's, or is that S-U-E, Crafty Artist Sue? Does anybody know if it's Sue or Sue's? flat box so big look at this it's it's so big it doesn't even fit on screen you can't even so it is sue crafty artist sue i feel bad when i mess people's name up i do <laughs> you have a nightie on oh you know what um I have, I have, um, um, 
what do they call these spandex short things like people wear when they go on bicycles? This is the I'm not going to wear it out in public shorts. That's what I'm wearing right now. But look at how pretty her card is. Oh my gosh. And for those of you who took a water break, um, yeah, I feeling, I'm feeling bad, but I'm going to get started. So we have the happy, what are these things? Sweet, sweet tarts? Sweet hearts. Sweet tarts. Sweet hearts. Whatever these are. It's the be mine things. And, oh, rub ons. You know, it's so funny because just yesterday when someone was sending me a wish list, she said any and every kind of rub-ons. <laughs> That's good. Oh, what is that? That feels thick. Oops, not in that box, woman. That feels like a stamp. Saturated canary, it says. Candy cane. Oh my gosh, isn't she adorable? Holy smacks. She's so cute. Oh, it's a stamp. Oh my gosh, it doesn't look as cute there as she does there. So, once stamped, that thing is magnificent. She kind of reminds me, uh, it, it, it does say candy canes and it has Christmassy stuff in there. Oh my gosh, we missed you, Elizabeth. Definitely Christmas. And then, yummy stuff here. I am going to be excited about doing... Um, one lady is so excited about Christmas stuff coming that I literally am um, already packing her box in my head with some Christmas supplies. Um, now that I have all of the journal stuff done, journal, journal stuff. So if you guys want something, don't feel like you're taken away from her because no matter what you do, it's going to be the same size box. She's going to get the, the, no matter what, it'll be a a bag about the size of this box filled with stuff for her um, and that's how it's gonna be and so um, what was I gonna say oh so if you see something that you want in an auction please please do not hesitate to say hey can you put it in the auction and so she ha oh shiny you're getting sleepy and I love sending stamps, too. Because, you know, having lots and lots of stamps feels fabulous. I am going to pull aside the Christmassy ones, though. I have, um... Oh, my gosh, this one says, be mine. Oh, am I on screen? No, I'm not on screen, guys. Someone needs to yell at me better than that. There we go. Be mine and sweet. A little Christmas fun. I'm going to start stacking these now. This one says April showers, get well soon. And then we have little hearts. It's your birthday. Happy holidays. Back to Christmas over there. I agree. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. And we have a hardest who's like, I love owls, any kind of owl. So birds of a feather. Did I say it's your birthday? We got um, a little Santa man. Holiday wishes. And a little bunny. The Tory Fell. Eiffel Tower. <laughs> if you come across a word background stamp, keep me in mind. Okay, word background. I gotcha. I hope your birthday is like totally cool. Oh my god. Like my daughter, she was so funny. She had, and I'm doing this on purpose, y'all. So, she was so funny. She had, like, the funniest valley girl story. Oh, I'm messing it up already. Okay, here we go. And I think she got it from YouTube, but she pulled it off perfectly. So, here we go. Here's how it goes. Okay, like, girlfriend, you can't even, like, believe. When we went to the store the other day, and I got so flipping hungry and I got so flipping hungry that what happened was um I had to get some pizza and when we went to go get the pizza and I ordered the pizza and I talked to the guy and the guy's like yeah it's gonna be a pizza and yeah what do you want on it and well I like got all kinds of allergies so with all my allergies I ended up with just like a cheese pizza because I couldn't even eat all the pizza stuff that's on there so and I'm totally screwing up the accent again okay here we go so then 
what happens? I get like the pizza and what's on the pizza? Just like cheese. So like I end up with nothing but a dough triangle when the pizza was done because I had to pull all the cheese off because it was like so oily, you know, like totally ridiculous. Anyway, my daughter does it a hundred times better and she has me laughing almost in tears every time she pulls it off. And I couldn't resist sharing it with you because for some reason when it said like totally cool brought me straight to her dough triangle. <laughs> and I'm still laughing. Did you see how cool this one is with the tree and the little bird in it? That's so cool. All right, that's too much glare, y'all. Hold on. Maybe that's better. We'll see if that works. Some three-dimensional little birdies and flowers. No, it's still dark. I'll just keep it down low. Know that you are on my mind and in heart. Wait. Know that you are one, one. Oh, on my mind and in my heart. What is wrong with my brain? I cannot read. <laughs> I just love Valley Speak. Oh my gosh. And this was back in the um, uh, Arizona days. She really had it down. Hold on to your truth, your faith, your peace, your... Does that say zoo? Oh, your you. <laughs> Hold on to your zoo. Lynn, Lynn, stop what you're doing. Oh, see you later, Shirley. Lynn, Lynn, stop what you're doing. Hold on to your zoo. I mean, I know it says hold on to your you, but in your world, Lynn, you need to hold on to the whole zoo. All the kids. Oh, and we have another Christmas one. We're going to do like, um, um, see how many stamps I have at the end and maybe do a random Christmas stamp one. Rejoice in the Lord always and some birthday stuff. <gasps> and she has Tim Holtz. And you guys know that I'm saving everything Tim Holtz for November. So that's how that goes. And that's pretty. Christmas love and little hearts. And the sweet stamps. Oh, Bible journaling. You know what? This is going to be in this month's auction. And the reason it's going to... Oh, that's a bunch of stencils too. There's six stencils in here. But the reason it's going to be in this month's auction is because I have... You guys wait for it. You want a sneak peek? Oh my gosh. Wait. The other dog tried to eat a bee today. Oh my, well, I saw cats eating, eating, um, a cat eating, oh, what are the ants today? Ants. Over by the lizards, of course. Okay, so Nick the Booksmith, I think it was Nick the Booksmith, recovered a 120-year-old Bible. And when she did it, she said, oh, don't worry, you know, there's nothing wrong with redoing the Bible. Um, and when she did it, I said, oh my gosh, I have that Bible. Now, I don't know that it's 120 years old because it doesn't say what year it was produced. But it looked just like the one she had. And it even has the same kind of wear that she was talking about. What she did was she actually trimmed this off and recovered it in leather. And so I decided it's untouched. It's fully preserved. See how it says presented? And it is just gorgeous. It even looks like... The only part that's been opened is right here because the other pages, you see how it doesn't look like it's ever even been opened? But the pages are not frail, but they're so thin and so beautiful. Just look at that. And I'm not saying cut this apart. That's not what I'm saying. You do whatever you want to do with it. But it says things like the first book of Moses called Genesis. It definitely does not give me the year it was published. It does tell me this, so if anybody knows this. It says, published by the World Publishing Company, 2231 West 110th Street, Cleveland 2, Ohio. That's what it says, Cleveland 2, Ohio. 
manufactured in the United States of America. That's what it says. And that's all we know. And this is beautiful. Jacob's Dream right there. And, but these pages in the front are magnificent. So anyway, when I saw the Nick, the Nick the Booksmith redoing the Bible, I said, wow, that's pretty cool. The inside feels like paper. Honestly, it looked just like hers on the screen. But it feels like paper. So maybe hers was paper too. I really don't know. But not when it was done. So then... I said, I have these. I was planning on giving them to someone, but doesn't it look beautiful if you put it together? Well, now it's even better because now you have the Bible journaling stencils in with that fabulous Bible. And if somebody really wants it because they think it might be a truly old vintage Bible, then hey, go check it out and find out. But if not, it's going to be a potentially fabulous journaling Bible. Isn't that cool, though? I think it's cool. Hold your britches. I gotta do something really quick. I gotta go out of here because my screen did a freeze thing, and y'all don't want to deal with my screen with a freeze. I don't want to deal with my thing screen with a freeze thing. Oh, I'm going silent for a second because I can't see anybody's chat here. Oh, don't do this to me. I don't know how to fix this. Oh, it just says YouTube is not responding. Well, that would explain why my screen did a freeze thing. All right, well, now I'm here. Um, and I'm trying to expand it, and I made it so big, every letter is the only letter on the screen. There we go. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh no, Lynn, what happened? I was talking and talking and talking. Oh, that's how cats cheer on the lovemaking. <laughs> Having ants for dinner instead of lizards. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, do you guys think that's a crazy thing for the auction? Do you think it's okay? Do you think I should hold off to see if it really is a real Bible from like a long, long ago? I don't know. All right. So back to the fabulous package, and I've already forgotten the name. I didn't write her name down. Sue Gray. Y'all, I've got to write this down. Oh, that's a good point. It is a Christmas auction. That's a really good point. See, that's totally, totally right. Oh, and for the love of these things, look, isn't that cool? And it's, it's acetate too. And it looks like they all have like the protective little peely offy things. Do you see that? But I'm going to leave the protective little peely offy things on because anything around me needs to be a little protected. Ugh. They're glittery, shiny, fun stuff. Do you see? Maybe you don't. Dagnab it. Come on. Maybe if I do it that way, it'll be better. We'll try that kind of lighting, see if that works any better. And then fabulous, shiny, yummy things. They are kind of Christmas. They are kind of not. So I'm going to stick them with this lady's Christmas box. The one super excited about her Christmas, Christmas in July box. Did you guys know that there's another person holding a Christmas in July tomorrow? And so I refuse to do a drama thing. I'm not going to do a drama thing. But I'm super, super glad that I did it at noon. And it is very, very possible that, you know, because Christmas in July is not the shiny, peely, offy things, right? It is very possible that Christmas in July is, um, it's such a super common thing that people do. Um, and so I've seen a lot of people do it and a lot of places do it. But I just think the irony of doing it on exactly the same day at exactly, you know, it's not the same time. Mine's, mine's at noon. But boy, am I happy I did it at noon instead of two because it really would have bled into hers and we may have had crossover folks, which would kind of stink. And that's the other reason why I like to share what the dates are because I don't want to feel like, you know, I don't want her to feel like I booked it over her. You know what I mean? Same kind of thing. It says... Putting for you. I thought it. 
Okay, hold on. Is everyone over 18 in this room? Oh, see, I can't even say it. Anyway, it says putting for you. Yep, yep. Can't even say what I'm thinking there. And then the lucky stuff. Oh, why did I put putting for you over with the Christmas stuff? Oh, and we have Tim Holtz again. Off to the November one. And Christmas stickers. And oh, so lovely. It's um, it's a metal embossing thing. In um, a couple of the... A couple of the junk journals that I've made, I have metal embossing. Um, one is a camera, and the other one, I do not recall. You know, no surprise, I don't recall. You know what, this goes into my bin of thank yous. I still haven't sent thank yous out, isn't that horrible? Oh, look at these! It gives you an example of how to make it, and then it has the little flower things already cut out in there to make... The scrunchy flower. Oh my gosh, you know how easy it would be to make this kit? <sighs> but they already did the, you know, you peel and press, but, you know, that's a lot of extra time for me to do that 40 times with those ones. But it's 20 pieces, so it's petals. So it's 20 petals to make this little kit. And they're just different flowers. I don't know if I have the circular... Does anybody have the circular, circular flower thing? I know I have three sizes, but that would work. Same kind of thing. And it looks like in this one, they're almost all the same size. Um, no, it does get smaller, I think, in the middle. Maybe. Ugh, so cool. And it has the instructions there how to do it. So that's cool. That's very cool. And they did it with this one, and that's the back part. And these make the best hidden paper clips, too, y'all. Oh, and they have just a little red one. It's so cute. Oh, and this definitely should be in Shabby Chic Month, you guys, you think? That looks like Shabby Chic to me. It does. All right, so that one goes in Shabby Chic Month. And... This, this is cool because um, I have artists who do have the plate thingies, whatever those plate thingies are called, um, the roll it through it thingy, die cutting machine, yeah, and so that's, that's pretty cool. This says, adventure, just landed, enjoy the view, discover, bon voyage, check in, now boarding, on our way, going places, explore, this happened, road trip, here we are, oh no, we are here, oh my gosh, I read it upside down. Uh, just go, fun begins here, and wish you were here. Ooh, and these are dimensional stickers. Um, Bow Bunny, it says, layered chipboard. And my brain is like lawyered. Oh, look at these butterflies. Someone's going to love those. And again, y'all, if you see something that you feel like you want to see in the auction, make sure you say it. And I'm going to start going faster because I'm going to have you here for hours. And I'm going to run out of drinks before I get done. So we have more fabulous stickers. And then we have Peace, Joy, Love stamps. I'm making noise now. Oh my gosh, look at these puffies. Tell me these puffies aren't so cute. And look at the way they made it more sellable. So for those of you who sell things, look, they made the stickers more sellable by putting it like it's on the back of a phone. Isn't that cool for packaging? That's a cool packaging idea. Oops, I put it in the wrong bin. Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. We know we love them. Oh my gosh, these are amazing, and I can guarantee you the hardest are going to be saying to me in emails very, very soon, yes, please. Okay, so I'll tell you what the titles are so you can be specific when you make the request for them. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Yeah. Dagnabbit, it doesn't tell me which one. Oh, there we go, I have a name. This one is Charlize, L-I-Z-E, and this one is Minnie Natalie. <laughs> exactly, Elizabeth is live. Uh, well, I'll give you one of them because I know at least more than one person will say yes. So, um, which one do you like better? Which one do you like better, Charlize or Natalie? 
Okay, and then this is mixed media for the mixed media artists. And this one is amazing, just absolutely amazing with the with the rough hearts and these squiggles. I'm a fan of squiggles like that. Flourishes, whatever you want to call it. Okay, Natalie, I got gotcha. you. Um, and somebody said stamps with wording, but this is really, really good um, as grunge background as well. So definitely a good one. I'll put this in with your Natalie, and I'll put a note for you, Elizabeth. Yeah, Natalie. Where's my little words? I got a word down here somewhere. There we go, Elizabeth Gibson. Okay, and then we have stars. And oh, I just set this down, didn't I? And this one is Donna Downey Signature Stencils. Color outside the lines. Okay. Tell me this isn't funny, but they wrote color outside the lines inside the lines. Isn't that kind of funny? Is it just me that thinks that's funny? Wouldn't it have been more fun if they would have had the words come out of the circle where it's inside the lines? Outside the... Okay, anyway. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's like a party underneath this stuff. Oh my gosh, look. All right, so this will be fun to make a kit later. Um, it's a whole group of these guys, these die cuts. And so when I see something like this, rarely do all of the same one go to the same person. I'll divvy it out um, in sets. And this has 48 pieces. And by the time I get to it, I'll probably have 48 artists. Because we're at, what now, 43, 42, something like that. Okay, another Merry Christmas. Happy Easter. Smile big. And you know what? This is awesome. So I'm going to go through these babies like this so you can see them. Oh my gosh, this one's cool. Guys, I, oh, you can't do it. It's like a shimmery gray, silvery shimmery gray. And then we've got the black and white. That one's bones. Oh, the month with paper should come with washi, huh? That kind of goes hand in hand together. Ooh, this one's shiny too. Oh, I gotta stop holding it up that close. You guys can't see it when I do. Hearts. Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah, I know, huh? Washi over. You know, there's. I think washi is one of those things that I. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's text. Let's see. Time is a companion that goes with us on the journey. It reminds us to cherish each moment because we will never come again. What we leave behind is not as important as how we have lived. Oh, that's so true. All right. Who was the one looking for words? Is this the kind of words you were thinking of stamping randomly or were you thinking more random words? All right. And more washi. And more washi. Am I off screen a lot? Denise, were those the words you were thinking? Word stamps? Oh my gosh, everybody's going to love this washi. And look at this apple one. For the people currently going through something, an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? <laughs> oh, a little on the nose, maybe. All right. A witchy one, a rabbit, fabulous key. Fabulous bird cage with birds. You know what? That's going to get tossed into the bird month. I should have been paying attention to that. I have a baggie for that over here. Somewhere. Well, I had a baggie for that over there. I don't have it right now. Ironically, it's a Merry Christmas bag. Oh, the key stamp. Oh, crap, I lost it. What'd I do with the key stamp? All right, I'll write that down. Key stamp. How do I lose it that fast? Y'all, what did I do? Did I put it back down? Oh, I found it. All right. So I have happy spring. He has risen. These little flowers. A fabulous hedgehog. Bunny bunnies, and it's appropriate that there's multiples. 
<laughs> he who has not Christmas in his heart will never find it under the tree. And a birdie. And these should get with the Christmas ones. Um, you know, I have the the die cut for this. The little the little cherub guy with the thing on the die. I created card kits for that a long time ago. <laughs> Excuse me, for the earliest hardests. <sighs> La Dolce Vita. Does anybody remember what that says, what that means? All right, we have these other ones. Oh my gosh, can you see what I can see? I am about to drool. You have stuff in here on someone's wish list. Distress collage medium. Look at this. And I'm able to send it to several. How cool is that? That is so cool. And I know it's Tim Holtz, so I will save one back, but then the rest will go to the hardest. That is cool. Oh, and the flamingos! You know, you're in Florida. The good life? Yeah, that might be right. The good life. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. And thank you. Oh, get ready. This is messy. I can feel it. I can smell it. It's not messy on me yet. But this is... Um... Oh my gosh, wouldn't this be the funniest thing if one of your friends... <laughs> I, you know, this is this is the way that I'm evil, right? So wouldn't it be really funny if um, one of your friends, you're, you're at an event and you're all doing like a white elephant, but instead of, yeah, that's my wicked laugh, <laughs> but instead of doing like the friendly white elephant, you have some messy, messy glitter stuff fly out. Um, thank you. Confetti stuff. But this confetti looks snowy, so it would be really, really good with, like, a train set or something. But um, it would be really funny to have uh, the, at least big confetti so it can be cleaned up. Because it might be at someone's house where they have to clean it up. But, ooh, look at this. Texture Luke's Pearl. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, my gosh. It just keeps going. How do you guys fit this much in a box? Lynn, did you give her lessons? Artist loft. I, you know, I have talked to several people recently. They are Tetris masters when it comes to, to, I know I would so do that at a white elephant. So do that really big confetti falling on the floor when they open it. And there's got to be a way to make that happen because usually when you open it, you open it from the top. There's got to be a way to make it happen to where whatever it is you open from the top, it falls out of the bottom. Hey there, Laura. Okay. So we have metallic texture paste. And acrylic Mars black. Wouldn't Mars be like Mars red? How is it Mars black? See, it should be called like black hole. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, for the love of St. Patty's Day. Okay, and these are cute. They're already kind of partially decorated for you. And then the little the snowflakes washi tape. That's going to go... And look at these ones. I'm upside down. There you go. Kiss me, I'm Irish. I, oh, so these two are the same, and then these three are the same. I almost read them all to you. So we have a couple Lauras in the house. <laughs> I'm going to mess up one of these days and call the wrong person the wrong thing. It is going to happen. That is really stiff. What is that? Symmetry. Mag oh, it's magnetic. Magnetic letter I. There is no I in team, but there is I in time. I don't know. Where do I come up with this from? Oh, I need another swig of Guinness. This is probably the bad influence. It, it's like, I'm not toasted by any means. Not by any means. This is one bottle of Guinness over the last 60,000 hours today. But it's funny to make the jokes. Clear gel, tacky glue. 
thinking of you. Let me catch you up. Okay, are you ready for this, Aaron? Let me catch you up for this. The eBay guy sent the coolest vintage and old um, glassine used bags, which have some cool writing on it and really great colors. Lizzie sent these um, baggies used for jewelry and separating, you know, those um, pulp drawstring baggies. And then Susan and Debbie and Lynn and Sue Gray have sent boxes. And you won't believe this, I'm halfway through Sue Gray's box and um, I still have two boxes to go. So you guys really are putting up with me. In fact, I think after I finish this half and the other two boxes, I'm going to be asleep because tomorrow's going to be a big day too. <laughs> oh, goodness. But then I got to clean this out. Um, no, I don't really have to clean the whole thing. I'll just have chaos tomorrow and I'll be okay with that because that's how it's going. And I'm not even going to tell you who the next two boxes are from until I get to the next two boxes. All right. So we have the tree that oh my gosh look at this tree isn't it cute it has the birdies in the middle oh my gosh I love this butterfly holy smacks that is gorgeous and a fabulous flower and a birdie You know, uh, for the month that's for the birds, I probably should go through all my stamps and look for the bird stamps and split them 50-50. Half hardests and half to, um, half to the auction on the birdie stamps because that would be kind of fun. So hello and cake. Oh, and for the love of these things. This is so nice because most of the hardests now have hole punches. The ones that don't, I'll have to order you from a, some from Amazon and ship them to you. Um, I think I might have a couple of punches I haven't put away yet, but right now in the box, I don't have any, but if you still need a hole punch, let me know and I'll order it and ship it to you. So lovely hearts. And again, I'm singing the lucky charms. Okay. How does the lucky charms thing go? Does anybody know hearts and stars and horseshoes? How does that go? And we've got the flowers and the flowers and the shiny and the snowflake. Oh my gosh, I'm putting the washi with the stamps and I can't do that. Look, you're like me. Your hair made it all the way from wherever you came from. I don't even have what city you're from. Give me a minute and I will know. Oh, no, I won't. It, oh, there it is. You're from Michigan. See, you're like me. I have hair travel all the way to California. It does. Why? Because I have enough hair that when I lose it, no one notices. Except for the people who happen to see my hair. Okay, I just, I'm, I'm making a mess out of things. Do you see this? Good night, Cindy. Did I get that right or did I mess it up again? Oh, I got it right because Darla said it too. And I'm sorry I'm going on and on. I have no idea what time it is. Fabulous flowers. Okay, that's a cute snowflake. That's like a flowery snowflake. And then the pink. And another Michigander. Oh my gosh, it's it's emo, emoticon washi. Oh my gosh, this would be so fun to make little pen heads and have the washi heads, right? You guys see how many different ones do they have? Where does it where does it come back out at? Okay, it stops right there. That's a lot. Look how many there are. That's a lot, and you could do that many different little. Um, when I say little pinheads, stick figure drawings where you put a washi face to it. Oh, 921. That's not too bad. Oh my gosh, fairy faces. Susan, that's genius. Oh my gosh, Susan, that is just totally genius. I'm putting it, putting a note with that because I'm going to forget that and I'm going to be sad I forget that. Actually, if I forget it, then I wouldn't remember that I forgot it. Okay, so... Okay, are you ready for this? Oh yeah, do I have the cutest little thing to write it on? Yes, I do. And did I remember just now? Yes, I did. Okay. Fairy faces. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. 
freaking love that. Now I'm gonna put it like this. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. That's priceless. No, I knew what you meant. Totally, totally knew what you meant. Oh my gosh, that will be the funniest fairy faces. Oh, gosh, you and me, love you more, true love, be my valentine. My husband and I say that. Love you, love you more. What is this? Sakura Color Products Corporation. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool. Guys, ladies, I shouldn't say guys, y'all, fabuloso angels, is anybody else as excited? This is heavy too. Oh, that is so awesome. Look at that. And it closes nice too. And it's even palette style, like this to put your thumb in it. You see that? Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah, you know it's cool. That is totally awesome. Totally awesome. All right. I'm falling for this one. It just doesn't get old for me. Oh, it probably gets old for you guys. It doesn't get old for me. Oh, man. Oh, we have more of the clear, shiny with the peely offy thingies. See, I told you there's peely offy on this, and it's nice and pretty that way. But no, I don't want to peel it off. No, I'm just feel. You know how some days you just feel like that. This this is the only thing I've had, and it's been a long time. I sip on a Guinness for like two days. Um, but I I'm just in one of those moods. And I, I kind of wish I was in this kind of mood during auction time that I, I'm just playful. I'm happy. I'm feeling better after quite a lot. of So I've had a few days of recuperation. And this is, is uh, probably close to normal me. This is what normal me generally looks like. Silly, um, punny, ridiculous puns. That's kind of kind of my dealio um and for instance when my daughter was talking about adulting and she was getting serious about adulting um I couldn't stop thinking while she was being totally serious in conversation I couldn't stop thinking that the word of, for adult is child but another word for adult is kid right so if she's adulting then I'm childing but even better yet I'm kidding so those kinds of things are always the silly, silly puns or the silly, silly play on words that make me super happy. And I'm not going to tackle this baby. So whoever gets it is going to tackle that baby. Um, but yeah, that's how my brain always is. It's just, except for on the rough days or if I know I've got to be fast and serious and I get focused. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my general, but all of the videos that I've cut over the last, that you guys have seen over the last few days were all cut on Saturday, which gave me a few days of break. Just why you see a lovely, happy, refreshed me today. There you go. Some time down. Even though there were a couple of rough, rough times in there, I could sleep when I felt like sleeping. And I, I'm a little bit behind on some things, but you know, it is what it is. And the auction is a little more Christmassy than I was hoping for. I was hoping for more variety. But you know what? It is what it is. That's how it goes. Look at this. Bloom where you're planted. Yeah. Remedies. Oh, rem remember this. <laughs> okay, all of these beautiful moments. The journey and the reward. Wonder, authentic, just the two of us, you and me. Look at those cute little birds. Oh my gosh. I love the way the birds have the long legs. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. All right. Does anyone find it funny that this says one of a kind and then they have three of the same flower? Oh, yeah. Then we have the hearts. And then these Christmas stickers feel like vellum when you touch them, but they can't be, but they do. They feel like sticky vellum. Maybe they could be. I don't want to peel it off. 
Oh, this one is so pretty. Something in the Iris family. Oh, little C. Where do we get started? I'll do I'll do the three second one. eBay guy, Lizzie, Susan Cords, Debbie Brigham, Lynn Wright, and Sue Gray. I am currently on Sue Gray's box, and we have two more boxes to go. So you'll be here for a bit. But eBay guy, you should see those things. Those things are so freaking cool. And this one I'm holding upside down. It says hello and wonderful. It has like a little bow tie. Honestly, the thing you've missed the most, Carrie, is me being a little bit, a little bit ridiculous. And in fact, um, my normal behavior is not necessarily PG-13. And um, my normal behavior is, you know, making lizard jokes. The funny thing is, is because now I actually have, I don't have anyone under 18 anymore, but I do have a mom with two young men who I want to make sure I do keep it PG-13. Just in case they're watching at a time when I'm being inappropriate I would feel bad so I have to make sure that my inappropriate is more like how Lion King does inappropriate and I didn't do this very well I have Christmas with a little birdie I'll leave that over there Ooh, one of the kits tomorrow oh my gosh one of the kits tomorrow is um it's like pink Christmas I had so much fun putting that one together it is so cool Oh, wait, I didn't put that together. You know who put that together? Darla. Um, she had fun putting that together. I shouldn't even take credit for that. But I had fun flipping through it. That's a better way to say that. Um, but that one is so cool. I freaking love that one. Maybe I put it together. Honestly, my brain doesn't remember. But I have to tell you, that one is really, really cute. And you know, your kits are all in there, Darla. Guys, look at this. Oh no, what happened? Okay, you know what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put this on the charger. So give me a minute because you're not going to have the microphone here. And you're going to go in the charger. Okay, count to five because the microphone's going, microphone's going on. Okay, see if I can get the cord out of your way. And yes, you're going to wiggle a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. Hold your britches. Don't allow. All right, there we go. So you guys didn't have to hear me singing wiggle it just a little bit. And you got to avoid that one. You're really glad you got to avoid that one. I froze because my battery was dying, so I had to switch over to off of the microphone onto um, the charging cable. I can't do both because what am I? I'm an apple. Oh, you did hear Wiggly. <laughs> I thought it was off. <laughs> oh, we've got the hearts and the friends and the style and the always and the fun and attitude. Erasable color. My husband loves his erasable Crayola colored pencils, so whoever ends up getting these is gonna love them. He even uses the eraser on the ones that aren't erasable, and it works for that too. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh my gosh. You know, this would be funny. It doesn't have to be Thanksgiving. This has to be one of those things when you and your friend are fighting, and you and your friend get into this conversation about who's the bigger turkey. And do this in advance, because you know you have these turkey stickers somewhere in your craft room. Maybe not these turkey stickers, but you've got turkey stickers somewhere. So you're into this conversation with your friend, and you're talking to them, and you're saying in advance, because you've got it all planned, you're such a freaking turkey. You're driving me nuts. You know, like, I could get into this conversation with Lynn. Lynn, you're being a turkey. You know, and, and so then what happens is, is uh, it ends... And within, and you have it all prepped out, and you're done with your little argument, and you've already pre-made your card that calls her a turkey. 
I love when you're a turkey or something like that. That would be so cute. Okay, that one says I love you. Maybe it's not funny for you, but if somebody did that to me and had it all planned out and then gave me the card, that would be funny. That would just make me crack up. Oh, look at this one. Creating in faith. You know what? This goes back in that journal thing. In the Bible one. Do you see this one? That is beautiful. See? That's how my building a kit works. That's how it works. That is absolutely beautiful. I am feeling bad because if it really is a 120 year old Bible, I'm not treating it with proper respect. It's still, it's getting slightly smushed. So then these are very three dimensional to such a degree, I thought they were shaker pockets. Yeah, you can't really tell there, but whoever gets these is gonna really love those. There's a Valentine's -y. This is, words cannot express how grateful I am for all you have done for me. When I thank God for the many gifts he has given me, I always thank him for you. Oh, these are such great, grateful stamps. Someone's going to love those. Oh, winter fun. It's freezing season. That should be the phrase for me. Oh, my gosh. I don't do... Oh, here's more of the little separating thingies. Um, I don't do winter well. Oof. I do not do winter well at all. I get cold, but that's because I'm a Florida girl. Oh, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I feel like she's really got the whole Valentine's thing all done in one sticker pack. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? That's begging to be an embellishment kit. Hardest. Isn't he cute? Yeah, we can all draw that. Look at that. He's such a cutie. Winter in Wisconsin. Now, winter for me is under 75. That's winter. I don't do winter. Oh, my gosh. You guys would call me the biggest pansy you've ever met. Oh, look at this. This is where they all came from. Now I know it's can come. And it was only a buck fifty. I totally would have bought that. I would have bought them all. I know. I see those owls, too, little C. <gasps> look, there's another one. That's going in. Oh my gosh, this is now the coolest Bible journaling kit. All it needs is a flat stamp set, rubber stamp set, that's peaceful. That's what it needs. I don't know what it is yet, but since the auction's tomorrow, it's not going to get it. Yep, that's how my brain works, though. Oh, we're upside down. Hold your britches. <laughs> I shook it right out. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a loud laugh. Oh, man. Yep, I shook it right out. You know, don't... See, that's exactly what I should do with the confetti for a friend. Definitely exactly what I should do. Oh. You Michiganders. There's a lot of Michiganders that moved down to Florida. Given what you guys talk about for winter, there's a good reason. Look at these fabulous flowers. Those are good ones. And they're not going to all go to the same, even though they're kind of all matchy-matchy. I will send these out to different folks because they have excellent, excellent um, texture to them. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They have little seahorses. And sweet little hearts. Pun intended. Another sweetheart, more turkeys. Now you're never gonna see, you're never gonna see these turkeys the same again. Or somebody's gonna PM me and call me a turkey. <laughs> oh, and happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Oh, this is fabulous. And then look at these, oh my gosh, the tourist bird. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to put Little Miss Christmas in here. And everything she gets is not going to be all Christmas. But, oh, and here's some more Christmas stamps. There we go. And that's the start of her box. And this is how late I go. I'm not, I've not even started boxes. I have lists, but I haven't started the actual shipments yet. And for those of you who don't know... Christmas in July, 
um, for half of the hardest actually happened in June. So half of them, 20 or 21 of them, got Christmas in July last month and this month. That way I could split the expense on shipping and the effort because it took a lot of effort to fill all these um, for all the hardests. Okay, that person's package on the way, and guess what? Two more boxes. And when I get down to one box, I should holler. Ugh. All right, here we go. Oh, and you know what? Just from the duct tape, you should know who this is. Do you see this? Two more boxes. Just for the duct tape. Do you know who this is? Mona Mona Mona. Oh my gosh, I love the tourist bird. Mona 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 has done it again. Ugh. Thank you, Mona, because I didn't cut through everything. Um, and I do reuse all these. I really do. Um, this feels good. You know you want to touch it. This is velvet, but it's already ready to be a book. Do you guys see that? Is that even all on screen? No, it's not all on screen. It's behind me. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to get through half the box and I'm going to forget it. I'm going to get on the other box and it's going to take me two more boxes to get through it. Including you, Lynn. You all rock. All right, here we go. Ready for the... This is what happens when I take four days off. This is what happens. Oh, I guess it's Friday. Where I lost a day. I must have slept. That happens. Okay, so check this out. You see it now? Nope, you don't. There you go. Now you see it. Now you see me. Now you don't. Isn't that the perfect book? Isn't that beautiful? Mona, Mona, Mona. Oh, we got to write her name down. Has done it again. Oh my gosh, I just called her Mama Stevens. <laughs> 